We also had this patient's PET CT, which was done for some other reason. Let's ignore this. And then let's look at the lesion. Okay, so this is our lesion. Again, it's fat density abnormality, and it does not show any abnormal FDT uptake, which you might see if the lesion is inflamed or has undergone malignant change. Well, there is some FDT uptake in the lateral wall and in the ribs, which corresponds to some of the fractures here. Can you see this step here? But that's related to fractures, um, but nothing really related to this lesion. Let's go back to our CT scan. Okay. So again, back to this lesion. And this thing below the NGMI lipoma is the cyst we saw on ultrasound, isn't it? All right, so are there any important findings on this imaging? I'll just grossly look at the upper abdomen. I'm not gonna look at the whole scan. You can see a few tiny gold stones, but there are no features of acute cholecystitis. And what else do we have? It looks like there's some hepatic cysts, the tiny cysts, and they look benign. And then we saw a bit of um, a small amount of pleural effusions with some overlying lung atelectasis. And uh, to put it all together, in the conclusion of the report, I would say that there is large left renal angiomyolipoma. Uh, this is a benign tumor, but given its size bigger than 4 cm, I would recommend surveillance. And we didn't have any evidence of active bleeding or malignant transformation at present. So the take-home message from this video could be um, always carefully look at the fat because fat density differences can reveal major findings on imaging.